Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a huge pattern change that's coming to the United States that'll bring a lot of changes right before Christmas including a December heat wave that'll dominate most of the United States over the next several days and additionally we'll be watching for a few interesting storms right before Christmas that could bring some interesting weather including maybe some severe weather and as well as some snow. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the East Coast and this has obviously been a very active area over the past three days we had multiple strong tornadoes on Saturday including an EF2 tornado near Nashville Tennessee and there's also an EF3 tornado back up closer to Clarksville Tennessee and prayers to anybody that was hit by these storms obviously these were really devastating we were doing a live coverage of this on YouTube while it was happening and it was just really horrible to see on radar itself and then seeing all the damage photos after that was just so devastating again i hope everybody's okay and obviously this was a really devastating event overall luckily the system now is moving off the coast and right now there's really not much behind this other than colder air and as well as drier weather which will definitely help with the cleanup efforts no big storms are in the future at least for this area that's been really heavily impacted by that severe weather event low pressure system is well back up into canada now lots of moisture off the coast that'll not be coming back here and also back up in northern new england that's the only remaining rain out of this really or snow that's still remaining with this low pressure system so some snow flurries for tonight in parts of northern new england but overall everything else is pretty much done with back over near florida this is going to be an area to watch for this week we actually could get a subtropical system to develop back down in the gulf of mexico later this week closer to the weekend that might bring some severe weather to parts of the united states and we're going to talk about more on that later in this forecast the great plains overall are fairly dry we have some cloud cover coming from a disturbance back up in canada this is going to bring a little bit of isolated snowfall to parts of the upper midwest but otherwise otherwise it's not really anything too crazy back down in the southern plains it's calm for now but that is going to change as we go closer to thursday and friday of this week and then the west coast of the united states also in a drier state right now but things will change as we go later in this week as well now let's talk more about the weather pattern that's coming to the united states and to look at that we're going to look at the jet stream this gives us an idea of the weather patterns that are occurring across the united states and beginning with today again we have our low pressure system back up in canada that is bringing some snowfall to parts of the upper midwest into tomorrow and then also again our strongest storm that we've had in quite a while that's currently moving out of the united states and that is going to be moving well away from us over the next 24 hours it's pretty strong jet stream still remaining with this so if anybody's traveling tonight or tomorrow morning might be some turbulence back down to the southeast but as we go closer to wednesday into thursday things are going to change quite a bit so all those low pressure systems will move out by wednesday by thursday we're going to actually have a ridge over on the eastern tier of the united states at the surface and as well as a little bit here in the upper levels but at the surface we're going to experience a lot of drier weather and as well as even sometimes some warmer weather that's going to start to filter in to parts of the united states on the other hand we're going to have a low pressure system that's going to be developing back over in the four corner states this is going to be our next storm here in the united states that's going to be moving across parts of the central and southern plains i don't really expect anything too crazy out of this i think it'll be mostly rainfall with as well as maybe a winter storm on the back side of this and we're going to talk more about that here in just a minute and then as we go closer to about friday into saturday that is when things actually get a lot more interesting because we're going to be looking at multiple storms notice one two these are two different low pressure systems in the midwest and as well as in the central plains we'll also be watching for the potential for a surface-based low pressure system back over in florida and that will be the potential for maybe a subtropical system that also might bring some severe weather to parts of the southeast by the time we go into next week things start to kind of clear out a little bit more and we'll go back to a drier state of weather notice this ridging that we're going to see here on monday as next monday as we go into next week good chance we'll have some ridging there a trough back over on the east coast it's not going to dive super far down to the south so i don't think a huge cool down will come out of this but it might bring some active weather there to the northeast united states now let's talk more about the weather pattern in detail looking at the future radar and the upcoming temperature trend over the next seven to ten days beginning with the future radar for the next few days so as we go into tuesday into wednesday notice this ridge that's going to be dominating the midwest all the way back through the southeast and this is going to be a very dominant ridge this is really the point of this forecast this is a really big weather pattern change that we're going to be seeing we're going to be seeing a lot of drier weather and warmer weather for much of the united states through the mid to late week some areas will see this all the way through the weekend some other 
areas will only see this for only a couple of days so let's kind of take you through wednesday so wednesday is when that new storm is going to develop back over in the four corner states the reason why this is going to be interesting is because of the snow potential that's going to come out of this and notice over in parts of colorado there will be a chance for some snow as well as northern new mexico as we go into wednesday night by the time we go into thursday that snow potential will start to slowly drift into parts of the texas panhandle and as well as the oklahoma panhandle we also might see that a little bit in kansas by the time we go into friday a lot of very interesting things here look back up into canada look at these very tight iso bars that's representing extremely high wind speeds we could get 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts back up in canada obviously not really relevant to the united states weather but some of areas in the northeast will actually see that notice the high pressure system still staying very dominant across the east coast and notice all the precipitation back over in the gulf of mexico that's pretty crucial what this weekend will bring to the united states we could see again a subtropical system develop or at least a low pressure system and regardless of whichever happens we're going to see that low pressure system likely crash into florida with some heavy rainfall but again going into friday morning we're going to be watching a system cross over parts of the southern plains this will bring the potential for some showers maybe a few thunderstorms i don't foresee any major severe weather event out of this system and then once we go into saturday this system continues to move off to the east two low pressure systems will try to merge down in the gulf of mexico and by the time we get closer to monday the european model has been hinting at this for several days where a low pressure system would develop potentially again like a subtropical system again it's too early to tell whether this will actually occur and turn into a subtropical system but there is a solid chance that above average rainfall is going to be occurring across parts of florida and as well as the southeast as we go into the weekend and as well as into early next week and notice a large storm back up in canada will continue to bring some snowfall and maybe even a little bit of rain to parts of the upper midwest and again back through canada by the time we go to tuesday and wednesday of next week things become very uncertain by then but good news if you're not looking forward to any more severe weather i don't really see any here over the next seven to ten days other than the potential for some of that in the southeast united states going into this weekend and maybe in the southern plains on thursday or friday but that overall doesn't look like anything too crazy i think the threat overall will be very very low if there's any severe weather there now over the next several days the temperatures are going to change a little bit so right now we have below normal temperatures across the entire east coast of the united states meanwhile above average temperatures all the way through canada and into the northern plains but that by the time we go closer to thursday into friday that'll change we're going to start to see some warmer weather build in to parts of the northern tier of the united states and look at this back up in canada upwards of 40 degrees above normal for temperatures back over parts of uh, canada again that's insane that's again record-breaking type of temperatures by the time we get closer to saturday into sunday that warm weather continues across much of the northern tier of the united states and by the time we get closer to sunday into monday that heat wave will continue across canada some of that will leak into parts of the upper midwest and as well as back into the parts of the new england region by the time we get closer to sunday into monday so again just crazy stuff there this is the temperature trends from the climate prediction center forecasting above average temperatures for much of the united states from sunday of next weekend that's the 17th all the way into the 21st which is not far from christmas day so i do think this temperature trend will continue all the way closer to christmas could we start to see some more changes as we get closer to christmas possibly but right now the likelihood of us seeing above average temperature christmas is pretty likely not everyone will see that but a good chunk of the united states or at least the majority will see that precipitation for the next six to ten days as well most of us will stay below normal at least from sunday of next weekend to thursday of the following week overall very very dry weather as we head into an el nino winter thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already